Hello, my name is Deandra Beck and I'm a program director at the National Science Foundation. Welcome to the third module in the Peer Science Program. By now, I hope you've had a chance to look at Module 1, which is an introduction to the Peer Program, and Module 2, which goes over some of the eligibility requirements for the program. In this module, we are going to discuss how you can identify a new partner in the United States who has an active NSF award. So let's begin. This module will give you the tools that you need to identify a partner with whom you can collaborate to develop a peer proposal. To identify a prospective U.S. collaborator, NSF's public database of awards is your first stop. You may wish to search the database using your area of research or perhaps the country where you reside. Let's do a sample search. For example, you could type food security into the keyword search of the database. And you'll see that there are a number of awards listed for which food security occurs in the abstract of the awards. Each of these awards can be opened to reveal more information by clicking on the hyperlink. You can find out who the principal investigator is, you can find out the amount of the award, the duration of the award, and the award abstract. The award abstract is very important because you'll be required to include this information as part of your peer proposal. After you search, you may identify more than one collaborator. However, only one of them can be listed as the principal investigator on your peer proposal. Please remember that your peer proposal cannot exceed 12 months beyond the expiration date of the NSF Funded Scientists Award. And don't forget, please only search the active awards. Once you've identified potential partners, your next step is to contact them. It's very important that you write your peer proposal so that it can be accomplished even though your U.S. partner may not receive additional resources. This funding is not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Don't be discouraged if the U.S. partner is unavailable to collaborate with you. It is likely that NSF has funded a number of researchers in your area of interest or potentially in the country where you work. Once you've gotten interest from a U.S. collaborator and an agreement to begin working on a proposal, it's time to start writing. In the next module, Dalal Najib will explain how to prepare your proposal and how to use the online application process. Thank you for spending this time with me. The National Science Foundation is very excited about peer science because we feel like it strengthens the existing collaborations that are taking place internationally with U.S. scientists and their developing country partners.